recording. You gonna you gonna do the intro? I was just leaving silence so I can edit out some of the noise. And then I also lost the ICQ tab. Right, good to go. I'll edit that out. Or I'll keep it in. Welcome to MTO, everybody. <laughs> That's our intro. Um, Mate, they might have still been better than Niall, Gideon, Dylan, to be fair. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, so I'm Niall Edwards. I'm one of the hosts of the show. This is MTO Quarantine Catch-Up, where every week during lockdown, we come in here and we talk some bullshit. I'm Niall Edwards, which I already said, but I'm joined by the other host of the show. I'm Gideon Common, and I'm wearing a yellow hat. Hell yeah. Uh, when mm-hmm. we're not doing the video anymore, so people won't, won't be able that. to see it. But, but he's wearing a real bright first, yellow hat. First time, we'll do first time we're doing this in person, I'll I'll bring the yellow hat. Absolutely, yeah. We we want to see that. Um, but yeah, so we'll we'll do a quick fashion report. We're both wearing hats at the moment. You've gone the backwards mm-hmm. cap route, which I'm well, not sure because, what, I, what I feel about. Well, look, <laughs> I I hate wearing caps backwards, but forwards is it's even worse. Oh, that's so much worse. Yeah. Well, that looks awful. sideways could work, I guess. Let's see sideways. This is awful yeah, for Yeah, we'll go with sideways. We'll go with sideways. It's really distracting. Listeners should be mm. glad. Um, mm. And then you're wearing the shirt of our local football team, which we won't name, I, um, but um, real nearby, real small team. It's got the name of the <laughs> old owner on it that left this yeah. week, so a bit controversial, I feel, choice. I feel a bit bit dirty wearing this shirt now. Yeah, it's tainted. I don't it's tainted. feel right. Um, what about me? I'm wearing a Tame Impala cap, oh, which of course okay. I am. Tame, Im- yeah. Tame Impala, I can tell you, I will tease this now, Tame Impala will be coming back up later on in this episode. Great. Gideon, you don't know about this, but it will be I back. I don't know what's going on, yeah. Um, but before we get into that, let's do our best, I didn't finish uh, my passion report. unanimously the best segment that we have. I'm going to have to turn my camera off, because it would kind of uh, spoil the point, as you could see, but this is... What's Gideon doing at this exact moment in time? This is the segment where Gideon does some dumb shit, and I guess what dumb this shit will, he's doing. There will be audio clue, as as is usual now, okay, and it might sound useful. a bit gross. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. I know exactly what this is going to be. Okay. <laughs> that is grim. I hate this so much. What are you thinking? Uh, uh, are you trying to do like pretty, armpit it's pretty topical. or something? No, it's like pretty that. topical. This is pretty topical. Something we should all do. Oh, you're washing your hands. Well, yeah, I was. I was sanitizing. You're sanitizing my hands. your hands. Yeah. I think that's the first time. I reckon that's the first time I've got it right. Got, got what I was doing. Yeah, that it was, was a very the easy one. one yet. To be fair, it was and I think the easiest one yet. I think my I was very like okay. I've got to get this quick to make him stop making <laughs> this noise. Segment. But yeah, sanitize your hand, guys. It's mm, you your should, one you should hand. Do that. Yeah. Um, do you want to get into whatever you were going to talk yeah. about this episode? Oh, before we get into our main topic, I got to plug something. I was on, and I was, I was a special guest on an episode of the podcast Paranormal Activities, which cool. I did not pronounce it wrong. That is how it's pronounced. I saw Gideon's face light up at the fact that I may have mispronounced the word activities. No, I didn't. It, it you genuinely absolutely didn't. did. No, I didn't. I was just like. I didn't know you'd um, been on. No, I didn't know you'd been on that. So I was like, "Oh, okay." So you're shit. I didn't. Grim. I didn't realize. But uh, so I was on an episode of Paranormal Activities. It's a podcast hosted by Ben Axe, uh, where he talks about paranormal stuff and spooky stuff. I get stories. it. I, yes, the title makes sense. It's I a get great it. title. That is genius. Um, it's a lot so I was on an episode. I was on quarantine catch up. Oh, it's so much better than our name. I was on an episode of that show. Uh, where I talked about my experience with Ouija boards and other ghost stories that I have experienced within my life. So it's like did the uh, scary segment scary. of this. Uh, we, I did plug it at the end. No, nice. this, this is plugception. But nice. um, yeah, so I, I talk about like a bunch of real spooky shit that's happened to me in my life. One of them is about the fact that I once went to a graveyard at one in the morning and saw some real fucked shit. So look, if you want to hear more about that, listen to that. It's like uh, scary, but it happened to me. And I'm sort of freaking out whilst recording this podcast at like midnight, and I get really, I get really spooked. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a real fun episode, so I recommend checking that out. And it's a great podcast as well. So that's Paranormal Activities. There'll be links in the description of this episode to that show. Speaking of podcasts, Gideon, you don't know this. We ha- we now have a podcast rival. What? There has been some drama gone down. So, um, 
so I, I'm in a couple of uh, podcast-based Facebook groups just to exchange advice and, like, find out what equipment's good and to plug episodes and stuff like that. Just to sort of bring this show into a community. And um, this guy put a, like, a, a thing up on this page saying, oh, drop your podcast's Instagram link so that I can make fun of it on my podcast. Okay. <laughs> and I was That's thinking... That's a good premise for an episode, to be fair. Fair play to Yeah. But... So, yeah, well, first of all, that's a good episode idea. But what mm-hmm. I thought was weird was he seemed real aggressive. And, like, I'm not sure if this was me reading <laughs> it wrong. Commit into the content. But, but yeah, and I, I wish I could go back and find the thread. I managed to screenshot my parts of it, but there were things he said to other people that he deleted the thread, or an admin deleted it or something, I'm not entirely sure. But I got, like, a real weird vibe from it. So, look, he, he, was, he was it, getting... Was it he to beat her? It was not here to beat her. It was not. I wish it was. I wish he had a podcast. But so I went to his Instagram because he was sort of getting into arguments with other people. I just, I just thought, look, I'll stay out of it, but I'll, I'll make fun of him a little bit. Like if, if, he, if he's saying he wants to make fun of other have podcasts, you, he should be able to handle him. it himself. If you, so if you just beefed him. I will fully admit I initiated this. Okay. But so I found uh, his Instagram. Well, I didn't find it. He linked it. But there yeah. was some podcast art. Uh, that was like some cartoon microphones in front of a background of money. And I found it so funny. Like it was <laughs> real, real weird for like to look at. I was not a fan of that art. Um yeah, there's just sort of money behind it. Yeah. It it was his like and it was the thing for his like one hundredth episode or something like that. So I sort of felt ba- a bit bad ragging on it a bit, but it looked fucked. So I just I just screenshot that and posted it in the thread and said this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, mm. and he he replied asking for the link to my Instagram, so I put um www.instagram.com slash Joe Rogan to <laughs> Joe Rogan's official Instagram page, um, so he called me a coward, so I said okay. to him I, uh, I just no but I, that could have just been a joke about the um yeah. It's not even Joe Rogan, what am I on about? That's Alex. There, there, he went on like a Spotify deal with someone and people weren't happy with that. Yeah, But, so, yeah, so, yeah. So, but I, I took it as him saying, oh, you carried it out, you're not giving me your actual Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just replied, I don't get what you mean. So he said, uh, send your Instagram or beat it. Which <laughs> was kind of a threat. But I saw, I said... Have, um, do you know what you should have done? You should have just replied with a picture of some cum and said, I beat it. Oh, that's awful, <laughs> but also kind of good, and I wish I did do it's, that it's now. Incredible. But um, so so I so he uh, said send your Instagram or beat it, and I replied, I don't have an Instagram, but you can email me here, Joe Rogan Monster Energy at gmail dot com. <laughs> <laughs> and for for anyone wondering, I'd now have that email address, and if you want to send me stuff, send it to Joe Rogan Monster Energy at gmail dot com, please. Um, so some other guy popped into this thread, mm-hmm. and he said. Um, obviously, like, having a laugh a bit, and sort of, he he was in on the joke and said, Wow, are you the real Joe Rogan using a burner account? Could I get an autograph? So I said, uh, yeah, sure. And I will send this to you on Instagram, and I will put it up on the YouTube version of this video, and I will describe it for the audio listeners. But it's a picture of Joe Rogan that I downloaded off uh, Google. And if you check your Instagram, you've got that now. And it says, um... Two blank, which was his name, and this is all written in Comic Sans, by the way. It says two blank. I'm Joe Rogan. Yours truly, Joe Rogan. <laughs> oh <my laughs> written over a picture of Joe Rogan in Comic Sans, uh, which I thought it was quite funny. Uh, and so that the, that other guy who was going along with the joke said, "Thank you. Now I can show my friends I talk to the real Joe Rogan. Awesome." So I replied, "No problem. Glad I could help out your street cred." Brackets. Once again, I am actually Joe Rogan. <laughs> so the original guy who started this thread pops up and um he sends the link to the website for my other podcast we talk mm-hmm. which i is on a bit of a break at the moment uh so i like i was like i mean sure that is my podcast but I, for some reason part of me was like if you want to make fun of a podcast make fun of my comedy podcast not the one that i actually take seriously yeah so um, Wait, so you don't take this seriously I take it seriously, but it's a bit of a laugh. I'm sorry, Gideon. <laughs> um, so, anyway, so I, um, w- when he sent me that, I just replied with, Oh no, please not my gaming podcast. I need to look cool for all the sexy ladies you get listening to your podcast about other podcasts. 
And then he deleted yeah. the thread. Oh. So, but the thing is, if you click on my Facebook... First of all, I don't know how he found WeTalk. But if you click on my profile photo, MTO is pretty high up there. Like, that's the first thing you'll probably mm. see. So I think he may have found MTO, and I want to keep an eye out on that podcast. Oh, do you reckon he's going to make an episode about I, wo- I wonder if he's going to make fun of us. Because oh, this guy, right. I did it's, not like this guy. It's all in good humour. Yeah, it'll be fine. Listener, so yeah. we take it and move. That's the worst argument. Thank you for the extra listener. But um, oh, I, I'm I, happy about it. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thanks, thanks, man. I mean, we need it. But, um, yeah. yeah. Um, but like, you know, I'm sure this guy's fine. But I think the way I was reading it, I think maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I'd be interested to talk to him in think? a non-hostile environment where the first thing I did wasn't immediately make fun of his podcast art. Mm-hmm. But if people want to go and listen and see if he makes fun of us, I guess we can tell the name of the podcast. Yeah, let's give him a shout out. Um, let's be nice. Let's settle the beef and be friendly. Yeah, th- this is our invitation for you to not make fun of us. It's the, uh, no, we don't mind if you want to make the... fun of us, if, as long as I... it's funny. Oh, if it's really funny, do. I'm fine with it. If it's in good taste, sure. But if it's really full on, um, so nah, it's the it's the yeah about that podcast, uh, so yeah, if you want to check that out, that's that. Sure, uh, I'm scared. I'm actually really scared now. This is scarier than when I was on Paranormal Activity. Ac- a- oh fuck, I messed it up. Paranormal Activities. There you go. But um, yeah, I'm sure it will be fine. If people want to listen to that, they can. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, yeah. um, do we want to go into it? Um, let's go into my fam- famous segment, Things That Fuck Me Off. Mm-hmm. So um, this is the segment where I talk about something that I've encountered that's annoyed me or is irritating. Um, and this week, the thing that's annoyed me is podcasts that go into an ad break in the middle of the show. Welcome back to the show after that ad break that we just did. Gideon, we were talking during the ad break. You want to talk about cows on this? I want to talk about cows. Do you know what I want to talk about about cows? What do you want to talk about about cows? What I want to talk about about cows is that cows, right, are the most bipolar creatures in the world. I want to say this, okay? I went on a walk the other day, okay? So I went on a walk the other day, and then (laughs) I'd also gone on a walk like a week before and on on the first walk right we went for a field of cows and they were they were just chill they were just sat over on the other side pooing you get me and then like cows the, walk do. the other day we went like cows do the walk we went on the other day i got chased by about eight cows to the other what, side of like the field. actually chased well not really because thing is like Cows are all right. It's, I mean, it's bulls that you've got to worry about. <laughs> bulls. But, like, cows are fine. Like, they just sort of run at you, and then they get close to you, and then they slow down. But I'm stood there, walking across the field, and they all just sort of ran at me. Jeez. And, like, normally, if you, like, if you're wearing a hat or something, if you just take it off and wave at cows, like, not a bulls, it's not a good idea, because then they'll just run straight at you. But at cows, if you just sort of wave something at them, they'll run away. And they didn't. They sort of stopped and stood still right in front of me. And I stood there, like, just piss off. And then they were just sort of slowly edging towards me for, like, a solid minute. So I was, I was, realistically, I could have just gone to the end of the field and left. But I was really interested to see what they'd do. And I ended up just sort of surrounded by a semicircle of cows for about five minutes. No, they were, they were worshipping you as their leader, that sounds like. That's true, to be this fair. I did cult. adopt a cow on DV. My group did adopt a cow. <laughs> That's great. First guy to ever milk a cow. What do you reckon he was thinking? Well, it's an interesting point because I'm not quite sure who sees a cow and sees the others and decides to give them a switch. Gonna yank on them. (laughs) He's a bit of a strange bloke. No, but you know why it actually was. But then also, why would you drink it? That's 
But then like, you, you pull a long, uh, interestingly shaped thing of an animal, it, white stuff comes out okay. and you drink it. I'm going to put that on my breakfast. <laughs> but, um, you know why it actually go good was some right, tea. Though? Because, like, it's like, oh, this is going to get graphic, but women produce milk once they've had a child. So it's the same mm, thing. It's, it's, not like it's not like he was going. It's not like he was going. I'm going to yank on this random thing and see what comes out. It was like he was oh, thinking it was his actual mother. No, no. He was thinking, <laughs> oh, cows have these organs too. It's probably the same. They thing. don't look like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. I can't make excuses for this guy. It was me. Do not secretly. make excuses it was me. for that strange, strange man. And to be fair, that is something you would do. How is that I something I would a, do? I think if you discovered, like, a new animal, like a new mammal... The first like, thing I would do is milk it. And it had udders, the first thing you would do is suck on them, you know? Oh, I don't think I'd... Oh, no, <laughs> I don't... Oh, that's weird. <laughs> the thing is, what I love now is that this podcast, we I'm collaborating with other podcasts... We're we're getting in other podcasts to shout out, so they're listening to the show in return to hear us shout them out and stuff like that. And so they've got to sit through this bit got of two guys this. talking about sucking on a cow's udders to get to the bit where we talk about their show. <laughs> it's no good. To be fair, I never mentioned sucking on a cow's udders. We only ever ever talked about yanking a cow's udders or sucking the udders of a new animal. Ah. It's factually incorrect. I don't think we should say to be fair to you on that regard, but whatever. Whatever you reckon. <laughs> um, Speaking of shout-outs, do we want to get into our shout-out segment? Go for it, go for Every it. Every week we shout-out a new podcast that we have been listening to or enjoy or emailed us as- asking to be shouted out. But this time, I am, I am taking this segment and I'm doing something that I know you'll hate with it. Because this time, I'm shouting out a, a Tame Impala podcast. Oh, of course, yeah. No, of course it's going to happen. Go I'm going to stay um, silent. So, <laughs> this is my time to shine, Gideon. Uh, so, this week we're shouting out the Fame Impala podcast, uh, which is a podcast yes. that breaks down the sort of music and lyrics of Tame Impala, obviously being Kevin Parker, we all know that, um, and looks at uh, some of the greatest lines and some of his greatest songs and stuff like that. And it's it's a really, really good show. I've been listening to it a lot recently. It's got a great host. Absolutely loving it. Um, they did a whole episode recently on what just so happens to be my favourite Tame Impala line, which is, every man is happy until happiness is suddenly a goal. And I think that's just one of the greatest music lines I've ever heard. And they did a deep dive on the episode. Uh, but, but the host, she, like... It's a fun podcast, and it's a really, like, fun time to listen to. But especially in that first episode, there's some sort of, like, deeper, more personal stories, and you really feel like you're getting to know this person, so it's great for that as well. It's a really good podcast to listen to, and as always, here's a clip of that show. One of my favorite things about The Slow Rush is that it is really a complete emotional roller coaster. you know? It goes from one more year which is like this crazy optimistic, let's worry about it later, let's cross that bridge when we get there song, followed by Instant Destiny, which is like even more crazy optimistic, like I can do anything type of vibe, followed by Borderline, which is like, you know, the first signs of uncertainty, followed by Posthumous Forgiveness, which is such a tongue twister, and I promise one day I'll be able to say it without stumbling. And, you know, obviously it's tragic, it's longing, but it has a little bit of that optimism sprinkled in there too. Followed by Breathe Deeper, which is like, boom, I can do anything again. Believe me, I can. Believe me, I can. Nice clip. It was real good. We love Tame Impala here, both of us. Well, actually, you you, you, you kind of like that Tame Impala. Me you're like... I'm, I'm a fan of Tame Impala. You're... I don't know... I don't know where he'd rank in, like, my favourite artists. You're halfway between me and Dylan, me being I one of the biggest Tame like... Impala fans, you being in the middle, yeah. and Dylan hating everything. No, I everything. think he'd probably be in my top 25 artists. High praise, I'd Maybe like top 20. He'd be, he'd... Like, I do really like him. Like, the Slow Russian Currents are, like, some of my favourite albums, like, of the last decade. Mm. 
I genuinely Sorry. think that lonerism is better than currents. And I, I think that's, wow. depending on who you talk to, that's either a very popular or a very unpopular opinion. I haven't listened to it as much, to be fair. It's it's very good. And I, Inner Speaker is definitely slept on by more sort of casual fans like you. Mm. But, um, <laughs> and that first EP. And some, I, I've gone to the point, I've done a deep dive on some of his like unreleased songs recently. That he's just like either performed at concerts or were on his MySpace in 2006. And I've just sort of found them all online and gathered them up. Vital Signs he did a cover of, and it's incredible. So, um, anyway, big shout out to the Fame Impala podcast. If you're a Tame Impala fan, yeah, we it's a really go good podcast. Um, I, I've, I've tried to listen to a lot of Tame Impala podcasts, and it's rare to find a good one, but this is a very good one. So, shout out there. And again, links will be in the description and stuff like that. So, um, and thank you for letting us talk about your show on our show. That's great. We, I'm putting my thumbs he's up. He's putting right his now. thumbs up. Give There's no. Oh, I hate recording over Zoom or IC. I do look like the stereotypical well. goofy kid from every like young teens like comedy film. You look like a Lele fan character. Stupid smiling. You completely look like a YouTube sketch character, but not like a good one. I like do. Auntie I look like. A but like a Lele British Pons, Fred. things like that. Oh, uh, no, please don't compare me to Lele Pons. Ever. <laughs> you are a Lele Pons character. That's 100% no. true. That is genuinely the worst criticism you can ever receive you, in my have life. Have you seen that movie with, like, Fousey Tube? I've, I've seen Pyro's, Pyro's Same, video yeah. on it. It, yeah, it looks bad. It I'm, not, I'm not paying money to watch that. I reckon, because no we're chance. thinking of when we can come back and do this in person, of doing some movie commentaries. So I think Borat's high mm-hmm. up on our list to do. I reckon we should pick yeah. some real shit movies like that to watch. We gotta do Birdemic. Can we pick a couple Bollywood movies to do? I don't. And just do an audio no any. Them. Um, we could find some though. I'm right. sure we yeah, could. we'll do that. we I'm not promising anything, but we could do that. We're doing that. Let's wrap up this episode because we've got to record another Let's... one straight after this. We have. We're short on time. Right, Mm -hmm. thank you so much for tuning into this episode of MTL Quarantine Catch-Up. You can find all our social media links in the description, as well as all the podcasts we mentioned. Uh, I've got a new Twitter that I really want to mention because it's got basically no followers, but I'm putting some real good stuff, I reckon. Because nobody likes you. Look, I tweeted a video of Joker dancing to the Seinfeld theme, okay? If that's not good content... That's probably why it's got no followers. If that's not good content, I don't know what is. So... Look, follow that. It's underscore Niall Edwards. It's real. It's real funny. Get on board, please. I'm desperate. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I, we we don't say that enough, but genuinely, thank you so much for listening to this. We really appreciate every listener that we have. See you in a bit, guys. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye.